The great in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. Praise be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions and thus enables us to comfort those who are troubled with the same consolation we have received from Him. Blessed God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. I bless the body of the real members with the holy ones that I call his baptism, of which St. Paul writes, All of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. By baptism into his death, we were buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by life is now, so shall we be united with him by life to his resurrection. On the day of his baptism, put on Christ. Very well, in the day of Christ's coming, may he be clothed with love.
in a special way in this wonderful evening as the the one to wear man, his blushing, the Bishop of our Diocese, most reverend Bishop Ibrahim, for his presence and for the Indians in this moment of grief to go follow the family of Parliament, his blushing, you are welcome. And also in a special way, we want to welcome in our midst the Prime Minister of our country, Dominica, Honorable Roosevelt Kelly. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for coming to come to your soul and family, the family of Paragraphs, our brother. May God continue to bless you as you continue to lead our own country. I welcome each and every one of us here present, especially the members of cabinet and all the many governments. We pray that the good Lord as we have come to worship together, to speed our brother and our father farewell, that the good Lord will accept all of our requests, all of our submission, in a special way, through this holy mass, to grant our brother a perfect place, life, Joy. It's an hour and it's not going to be a good Lord.
when the time had come for him to pass from this world to the Father, Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still, and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If you will not, I should not have to with you. I am going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared a new place, I shall return to take you to with me, so that where I am, you may be. You know the way to the place where I am going. Someone said, Lord, we do not know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, I welcome you again to this moment of grief. Moment of grief because our beloved one, our dad, a good husband, has finally said goodbye to us. It is painful. Words cannot suffice to bring consolation to this family. But all we are saying is that God will comfort you. And that is the highest comfort. That is the highest consolation. Death is inevitable. I just finished the first funeral this morning. The funeral of a young fellow, a young promising man. A man, Jeffrey Packett. And when the family we are crying, I had to make some reflection and ask myself, where are we going from this world? What is happening to us? What is the message of death? What is this world? And he was tall. He was active. He was very strong. It's a man who is so ambitious about his mission. He's very strong. So with his strong will to move the mountain. It's an individual who nothing can stop in his mission. But brothers and sisters, the mystery today is that something has not been but I buried from moving, that is death. Death is a surprising thing to us. Death is such that when we think we have made it in life, death comes and tells us we have not made anything. Death is a must come. The rich, the poor, the young and the old, everybody must answer that call when he comes. We least expected that our brother would move away from us so soon. I was with him in the hospital. And I saw him struggling with death. You could see a man who is smiling, saying farewell, goodbye. But I received the anointing before he left. He was anointed, anointed on the sick. He received it 
And what he said, I gave me consolation and the wife, the wife was strengthened when he said, Amen. That was when I knew that he has given up. He said, Amen. Which means, I am tired. I am ready to leave. May your way be done. Brothers and sisters, today we have come, we have gathered together as children of God to pray for our dear brother, to give him farewell. He has done his best. He has tried his best. He has run for him. He has run a good brother, made a good race. He fought a good fight. In the eyes of man, in the eyes of man, he has done his best. Today we have gathered together to pray for him as children of God, as Catholics. Because the Holy Mass is efficacious. The Holy Mass, we believe that through the Holy Mass, that we commune with the dead and the saints. It is our duty as what the suffering of the church militants to pray for the church suffering. And through the Holy Mass, we believe that God we show mercy to the dead. If there is anything that is keeping him from seeing God, we pray that through this holy mass, that God will turn back his judgment with mercy. Our dear Lord and Mary, as I said, is an individual who tried his best when he was still alive. Mr. Pirate God has made a tremendous impact, not only to his family. But to this country in general. He tried with them. He loved his wife. He loved his children. He was always there for them to take care of them. And that is why he worked tirelessly to make sure he put food on their table. He's a hardworking man. He's an individual who believed that he must make dance meet with your sweat, not putting corners. He's a man with good hearts. He's a man who, who bears no grudges against anybody. He's an individual who is very sociable and also entertaining. He, whenever he visits you, you just have to be ready for what? For good discussion. Because after his discussion, you will, you will understand that yes, you have encountered an individual. He will entertain you with words. He will entertain you with so many, you know, controversial conversations. One day I will stand him and he said to me, Father, you know what? I need to tell Bishop Gabriel and say, so that he will obey my wife. <laughs> he said, yes, yeah, I have to. And then if the Bishop Gabriel and say, if he to do that, I will walk to the poor. <laughs> he has to obey my wife. Yes, Father, you are taking my wife away from me. Always, is it, she's in the church. I say, yes, she is there receiving God's blessing for you so that your way, your job will be trying. He's an individual who loves conversation, who wants to build. He spent most of his life in journalism, struggling to make ends meet, struggling to make impact in the life of people. In the life of this noble country, he wants to make an impact. He wants to make his presence felt. He wants to contribute. He's an idealist. There are something out there he wants to pass it across. How many of our young generation is ready to do this? How many of our youth today can do this? Many of our youth are just parabolating on the streets, moving up and down. If it was in my lecture, I said, many youth are jumping up and down. And this is what our youths are busy doing. We have the innate ability, we have the innate idea, we have the potential in all that we can tap and change the world and change our country. But most of our youth, we believe in busyness. There is not the man. This man's life is a message to our youth, to men and women who are lazy, who cannot work. This man's life teaches us that you no longer stop working until death says it's enough. He walks around the clock all times. 
He is an editor and publisher of the Lake Magazine, the Flavos Lake Magazine. He has so many publications. He has served his country in different capacities. He did it so well for his kids and is ready to check and put you know, and run his country. The tourism area, he wants to make something good. He wants to see his country grow to that small part of the mountain that he has come up to. He wants it to. It's an individual. It's not selfish with his talents. It's not selfish with what God has given to him. He is a man who is passionate about his mission and strongly believe in himself. We need to believe that we have something God has given to us and cut it and use it for humanity, use it for the growth of our country. It was J. L. Kennedy who said, do not spoil, you should not just rely on him, on your country. Do not think the country is always provide for you. Think about what you can give to your country. And is this man who wants to push that idea? He wants to grab this country. The very moment I came into this country, the first news magazine I got was from him. Introducing himself. He is ready to sell his ideas. He is ready to sell his vision. Why? Because he believed that we can be more better. He believed that we, where we are, is going to be more as supposed to be. We need to transcend from there. That is the man who has been ready today. That is the man we are being fair today. He is an individual who so much love his country and always wants to set it at a possible best growth whatsoever. He always believes that we can together reduce the meaning and better. That is passion. We can together reduce this country, not destroying ourselves, not washing one another, not putting another person down, but together. We can build this country and this personality. Our philosopher, father, late father, uh, Karazu, he wrote a particular book by to man know thyself. Man know thyself. You have to know what God has infused in you. And in that, he tried to make sure his position. He said, for us to do together, we must go into what we call evil. That many complementarity, the philosophy of God, complementarity. And that is why I have rebelled in the need of understanding such philosophy. He made sure his children are together in this journey. He corrected his son and all of them are there with him to publish, to you know, to be in charge of this, in charge of the world. In order to do together, he involved himself in different organizations. Today, my dear friends in Christ, it is not that we are giving praise about him, about him or eulogy, but we are trying to push out the good quality in him, which is a legacy he has left to us. And we are now to tap because this world is not our world. The boy will just be just buried. He is known as God and he said, Any time he comes to a place where there is sadness, he said, Come, my friend, come, let us go together. This world is short. This world is short. Whatever you have, give it back to now before it's too late. Tomorrow, you may not be there to recover to those things. He is a man of complex idea and also a man who fear of the Lord in his heart. Brothers and sisters, let us look at the readings of today. The first reading, the exposition in the Gospel according to John chapter 14, verse 1 to 6. It brings out that understanding about the meaning of death. Therefore, Christians, death is a transition. Death is homecoming. Death is homecoming. Death is a fulfillment of the promise made to us by Christ. When he said in verse 2 and verse 3, I am going now to prepare the place for you. And after I have gone to prepare the place, I shall return to take you with me, so that when I am, you will be too. Death is coming. When that time comes, are you ready to go? Will you be ready to go? Death is not a thing, it is not a sign for Christians. 
Dice, miren el bebé, es con su hijo, el hijo de Jorge, 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 Thank you. 
continue with those instruments. Someday, then you are going to continue the journey of life. So the believer this hunter will continue this mission. So during that, the priest said, no, no, it is your culture that he should be given up his implement so that he will continue. So please, the confusion continued. And to the priest said, Thank you, that is a problem. One man said, Father, do you know what? This man is not only a hunter, he is also a wicked man. He hunts his fellow human beings. He kills people. He's a wicked man. He doesn't care. He's a wicked man to get them. I name it. He has killed this. He has killed this dog. He has killed this dog. So, what do I him to be buried with his God? Because tomorrow, in the night, this man can wake up and wipe away the whole village. Brothers and sisters, that is the mentality of that particular culture. What does it tell us? It tells us that there is a place. We as Christians, there is a place that is prepared for us. There is a home after this place. The question will be, where will you dwell? Where will you go? And that place is one for us to the death and resurrection of Christ. Are you ready to be there when the time comes? Heaven is free. Hell is free. But the way that you leave your mind will determine where you will spend your eternity. So the question today will be, where will you spend your eternity in heaven or not fire? Death came into this world as a result of man's sin. That is a punishment for his disobedience. We live in a time when many people have no fear of God. They do what they want. They want. They dress the way they like. They wash their bodies. When they open their mouth, they cross. They do all manner of things. They live, we live in a world that knows no brother, no sister. Even around this period of COVID-19, we don't want to exercise that charity to help the other, to help the elderly, be vaccinated, take the vaccine for the good of the other person. And for you all, it doesn't matter, they want to kill me. Who told you that? Who wants to kill you? When I was taking my own vaccine, I said to God, whatever I see this vaccine, when I take it, it becomes for me a fertilizer. And because for me, fertilizer, I'll be growing up. And I blessed it. I said, God, you have made the doctors, you have made them. And I believe in what you have made. And so it shall be for me a blessing. And to it, whatever it is, is a need. God will transform it. It is for us to have the order, the charitable, for the well being of your brother and for your sister. It is very, very important. Many of our youth, many of our young ones do not believe in this. And the lives of the elderly have been threatened. Let us be charitable to be obedient to the word of God and also the little rules and regulations of our own country. It will help us, it will help the country to grow. It will help us to have life and be happy in this one and beautiful island. And so I call upon us today, brothers and sisters, let us begin to prepare ourselves because those who are listening to my mind, I am just passing to you. I am not supposed to be in this world forever. Today, how old are you? 50, 60, and the next 50 years will still be in this world. In the next 60 years, we still be in this world. In the next 70 years to come, we still be in this world. That's 30 years after your age. Check. You must be handling your stick, the three legs, the two legs, and the second one. Let us make this life now. Let us make it meaningful for ourselves and for others. Yes, we enjoy ourselves, but remember, whatever you, you do in this world will be your judgment on the last day. They do what they want with their, with their life. They say it doesn't want to consign them. Some are busy, even on Sunday, some are busy doing whatever they what want. Watching their extremist car, you know, preparing and even in the wrong store, enjoying their lives. And some also have sold their soul to the devil, have sold their life to the devil. When eternity comes, yeah, when that time comes, we are going to dwell, we are going to spend your eternity. 
But I just got to remind you that one day we all give account to God. Some are busy not understanding the handwriting of the world and it will be too late. Brothers and sisters, every day in our community, simply text us, we have no time. Tell the person by your side, there is no time. Now is the time. Now is the opportunity. Now the, 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 the funeral mass, the prayer is for our brother. But the message of today is for me and you to go home with him today. So that we make our own way tomorrow. We make our own heaven from today. There is no time. So today is for parent. Tomorrow might be man. So we got to be ready. And I'm men of our lives. And not be afraid of us. Don't be afraid of death because it must come. Don't be afraid because the good news is that Jesus Christ, through his death and resurrection, has brought back to me and you eternal life. It was based on this backdrop that he said in John chapter 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except what? Through me, to me, except through me. One come to the fire. We must accept Jesus. Jesus is the resurrection of those who died believing in Him. All we need to do is to believe in Him, as He said in John chapter 11, verse 25. Whoever believes in me, though he die, he shall live. That means living in what? In charity. And it is the reason we can always join in that song. That's wonderful song. Pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Harry, 
praise the bread of eternal life, the body of Christ. Raise him up, Lord, on the last day. We praise the Lord. We pray for our brothers and sisters, our relatives, for all who are close to us and good to us. Lord, give them the reward for their goodness. We pray for them. We pray for all those who have died in the hope of rising again. Welcome them, Lord. The light of your presence. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all who have gathered here to worship in faith. Lord, make us one in your kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, our Redeemer. You will be the serve of death to the whole people by the saved and pass from death into the life. Listen to prayers. Look to love on your people, the family of our brother Barry, who will free for their beloved Barry. Lord Jesus, you alone are holy and compassionate. Forgive our brother Barry. By dying, open the gates of life for those who believe in you. Do not let our brother be parted from you, but by your glorious power, give him light, joy, and peace in heaven. Clear will live forever and ever. Amen. Please be
In a similar way, when someone was tempted, he took the chalice and washed all the things. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory.
by sending Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, he said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you, look not in our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live our will forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you, God knows. Let us offer each other the sign of peace as we give to one another.
I'm worried, thank you. Okay? You look good. Thank you. <laughs>
No, 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 let it be. No, 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 let the songs come on. Oh, I love it. Okay, go. I want to go here. Go here. Yes, yes, I do. I really thought you would have been.
All six of you, okay. Let me take all six of you going to be facing the same direction. So, this goes to the sun. Then I'm going to go in back with it, and then we're going down. Yeah, okay. So, all six of you, I'm going to go facing the same direction. This one, I saw your hand on my hand. No, on the left, I'm going to hold on the left. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, 
Jesus Christ, but a three days you laid in the tomb. You made holy the graves of all who believe in you. And even though their body lies in the earth, they trust that they like you will rise again. Give our brother Paribelot peaceful rest in this grave. Until that day when you, the resurrection and the life, will raise him up in glory. Then he will see the light of your presence, Lord Jesus, in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for our brother, to our Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the resurrection and the life. The man who believes in me will live even if he dies. And every living person who put his faith in me will never suffer eternal death. Lord, our response shall be, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, you work at the death of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. You raise the dead from the from. You raise the dead to life. Give our brother Paribelot eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. You promise paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our brother to the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Our brother was washed clean in baptism and anointed with the oil of salvation. Give him fellowship with all your saints. We pray to the Lord. He was nourished with your body and blood. Grant him a place at a table in your heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our brother. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We pray to the Lord, Lord our Father. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And Almighty God, through the death of your Son on the cross, you have overcome death for us. Through this, through his burial and resurrection from the dead, you have made a grave a holy place and restored to us eternal life. We pray for those who died believing in Jesus and are buried with him in the hope of rising again. God of the living and the dead, may those who faithfully believe in you on earth praise you forever in the joy of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Wife and children. <laughs> Children. Other family, friends, well wishers.
la fin du point de vue. Person wants to. Why, yeah?
a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowd, All that the Father gives me shall come to me. No one who comes will ever be rejected because it is not to do my own will that I have come down from heaven, but to do the will of him who sent me. It is the will of him who sent me that I should lose nothing of those who has given me, he has given me, rather that I should raise it up on the last day. Indeed, this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks upon the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life. Him I will raise up on the last day. The good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive our trespasses against us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy love of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fire of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let, let the perpetual light, light shine, shine upon him. May the soul of Parbelot, Paribelot, and may the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace.
Mein Einsatz in der Kolinie, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be God, and Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of God. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May the soul of Paribellus Pari and may the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, he had a voice from heaven say to me, Write this down. Happy now are the dead who die in the Lord. The spirits added, Yes, they shall find rest from their labors, for their good works accompany them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To remember me as loving you. All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. In the joy of being together in one house, and for me. against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from our evil. Amen. 
Has Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, will be without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, save us from the fire of hell. Lead our souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of kindness. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let the perpetual life shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen.
<laughs> Let us pray. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul and may the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Since Almighty God has called our brother, Harry Bellot, from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth from which it was made. Christ was the first to rise from the dead. We And we know that he will raise up our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. We commend our brother unto the Lord. May the Lord receive him into his peace. 
and raise him up, body and soul, on the last day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We want to thank all of us in a special way for participating effectively to the end of this journey. Thank you. We thank all those who come to, in a special way, comfort this family, the family of our dear brother, Harry Bellot. Thank you as you have shared in their pain, as you have shared in their, this moment of tears. May the Lord in a special way comfort each and every one of us, bless you and grant you journey message to your destination. And we thank the grave diggers. We thank our brother from the funeral home who helped in covering, in covering the grave. The little boy, very strong. May God bless his strength. And thank the funeral home, the nurse home, thank you for your wonderful work as well. We thank the media house, the KMC TV, for your wonderful work in bringing it live to every other person. And Kyrie FM. God bless you all. And may God continue to strengthen each and every one of us at this moment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Have a blessed night rest. Okay, let me on behalf of management and staff of Lee Hurst Funeral Services, of course in my capacity as the funeral director again expressed our sincerest condolences to you, the grieving families, friends, and of course, well-wishers. And also to extend our gratitude, our thanks, and of course, our appreciation to you for choosing the best funeral home on island, Lynnhurst, <laughs> to put your loved one to rest, of course, with respect, with love, with pride and dignity. May the good Lord bless this great family to touch you from your crown of your head to the sole of your feet. And for those of us traveling back home, traveling mercies. Okay. We want to thank and recognize your parish priest and his assistants for an excellent service. We want to thank the choir, we want to thank the Paul Gerers. We want to recognize the grave diggers for an excellent job. We want to thank COMC TV and Kyrie FM in a very special way for reaching out to the many persons who would love to be here with us today, but because of certain circumstances beyond their control, it's not possible. And we want to thank all of you for giving that great family the support that they require. Thank you so very much. Get home safe. Happy weekend and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Family photos. Family, you can come for you to take a family photo. <laughs> I'm going i